In World of Warships, there are some ships that demand a special approach. And the new European destroyers are exactly such vessels. The newcomers specialize in artillery, but there are some nuances to that. We'll talk about the new ships as well as how to play them in this video. Be sure to watch till the end and you'll find out where their power lies. European destroyers, along with Pan-American and Pan-Asian ships, can be considered a combined team. Here we can see the ships that represent the naval forces of Turkey, Poland, Greece, Yugoslavia, and Norway. These countries ordered their destroyer projects from other maritime powers. So don't be surprised if you get a feeling of deja vu when you see the newcomers. As we mentioned at the beginning of this video, European destroyers specialize in artillery. The ships of this branch possess rapid-firing 120mm, 139mm, and 140mm guns. At the same time, they fire only HE shells. This ammunition type can deal serious damage for such ships. But at the same time, it doesn't have the highest armor penetration values. The main battery gun traverse speed of European destroyers isn't the greatest either, but upgrades and the appropriate commander skill will help improve the situation. As for torpedo tubes, they usually serve as secondary armament for artillery destroyers. The same is true for the heroes of our video. Their torpedoes have average rain parameters and low damage values compared to those of other destroyers. At the same time, just like European destroyers of the first branch, the newcomer's torpedoes have impressive speed characteristics. For example, Tier 5 destroyer Moivinet torpedoes can travel at 72 knots. And those of Tier X destroyer Gdansk can travel as fast as 86 knots. If torpedo speed connects the two European destroyer branches, anti-aircraft defense, on the contrary, clearly sets them apart. For example, Hallen can safely be called a true threat to aircraft, but Gdansk needs to be extremely careful when being attacked from above. European ships don't have the highest concealment characteristics either. However, due to their specific combat characteristics, which we'll talk about later, we still recommend improving this parameter. For example, the aforementioned Gdansk is visible to opponents from 9.1 kilometers with her base characteristics. But with a concealment system upgrade and appropriate commander skill in place, this parameter can be reduced to 7.3 kilometers. Our introduction to the new branch would be incomplete without checking out their consumables. Their basic set includes damage control party, smoke generator, and engine boost. Starting from Tier 8, you'll also find Surveillance Radar. The operating range of this consumable is 9 kilometers, and it has a modest operating time of 10 seconds, and fairly fast base cooldown time of 1 minute. Now it's time to take a short break and look at the optimal set of upgrades to make the European destroyers truly comfortable in battle. European destroyers are rather unusual artillery ships. They aren't so effective as, for example, Kleber or Delny, which can use their maneuverability and speed to avoid hits and still deal damage. They don't have sufficiently good concealment to alternate between stealthy torpedo attacks and shelling the enemy from advantageous positions under a smoke screen, as, for example, Japanese artillery destroyers do. The European ships have no repair party. They also don't have a special hit point distribution scheme like the French ships. The newcomers also aren't the most maneuverable ships of their type, especially in terms of rudder shift time and turning circle radius. 
So, how could you show your worth in battle with such features? Well, firstly, due to their high detectability, it's not worth sailing your European destroyer out in front of your team at the very beginning of the battle. At least do it with allied support if you choose that course of action. Secondly, when operating in certain parts of maps, always analyze the opponents around you. Your worst enemies are artillery destroyers with good concealment, rapid-firing cruisers, and ships with surveillance radar. If you find yourself in their sights, you'll most likely lose the lion's share of your health and may even be sent back to the port. However, if the aforementioned opponents are not nearby, or at least if they aren't focusing specifically on you, then you can try deploying a smokescreen, selecting an enemy, and implementing your firepower. Keep in mind that you should use the surveillance radar of European destroyers tactically and in certain situations. For example, when you're detected by a stealthy destroyer. Here, the principle is quite simple. For example, with upgraded concealment, Tier 10 destroyer Gdansk is visible from 7.3 kilometers, and the effective range of her surveillance radar is 9 kilometers. Consequently, if detected, the European ship will certainly be able to spot a stealthy approaching enemy. The short action time will most likely prevent you from sinking the enemy, but at least you can definitely drive it off and transmit its location to your allies. An active radar can also help in situations where you need to finish off a badly wounded enemy that's trying to hide. As for torpedoes, due to their speed, they can deliver plenty of surprises for targets that aren't expecting danger from beneath the waves. To conduct successful torpedo attacks, you'll need to anticipate the enemy's actions and take your high detectability into account. But why? For example, a battleship that spots you will try to maneuver to avoid or minimize the number of hits, and taking into account the low damage of your torpedoes, such an outcome could safely be considered a failure. I won't beat around the bush. The newcomers are not the easiest ships to master. When playing them, you need to know the habits of your own ship and have a good understanding of what your opponents are capable of. Battles at the helms of European ships always involve deep analysis of the situation on the map. But if you learn to understand the battle situation and use your ship where she's most needed, then the European destroyers will become a formidable weapon in your hands. Show what you're capable of in World of Warships, Captain!